Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Niche Fairy Flowers. Before we begin, I want to say a very special welcome to my channel members. Thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate it immensely. We are starting off with a very tragic love story on our hands because one of our oldest princesses, Daughters of the King, current one of course, has paired up with a metal god named Blavel, but it's not gonna last because Blavel is on his last day, guys. Our princess is pregnant with his child, but he is not gonna live long enough to see her through the pregnancy or to even see his baby born, which is so, so sad. And our princess, Pandera over here, she is not exactly that young she's kind of like in the middle of her life at this point but this is her first love so i feel so sad that her life has come to this i mean she is a very beautiful nicheling and i'm sure the baby they have together will be just as awesome but you know what we have some solace in the fact that at least blavelle's genes are going to be passed on and blavelle if i'm not mistaken is the brother to Ailey, who has produced our fairy prince, Skifian. So that's going to be quite fun. And Blavel, he had a few siblings. He had, he had three other siblings. Actually, he had four. Um, yeah, but Roxy... I don't know, was Roxy his? Maybe Roxy wasn't his. But Blavel... Um... No, I lie. I lie. Blavel was the only one? No. Was Blavel siblings with Roxy? I feel like he might have been siblings with Roxy. Interesting. So, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So his sister, Roxy. Oh. We just had a bit of a plot twist. <laughs> I mean, inbreeding is kind of the go with this tribe. But I think Blavel is Pandera's uncle. Hmm. Oh well, oh well, you know, it's typically how love stories go in this tribe. But how long does she have? She's got three days. Yeah, he's not going to make it that long, which is so sad. But his genes are being passed on and that makes me happy. Okay, Maroshi, we are going to just quickly sidestep here. Let Emma Samina catch up to you. And then you can also grab some berries, maybe try and get some worms from the the waters. Okay, Princess Skura. Let's get you to, I think, hop this way. There we go. I feel a little bit bad for Emma Samina. Father doesn't have that long, but they're kind of on their own here. The rest of the tribe is just raising through. They've, they've got all these other things they want to do. They've got all these other places they want to explore. They don't have time to wait. Okay, Pandera is going to jump here. She's going to spend some time with Blavel before he dies. Oh my goodness. Okay, Hyrule. Let's clear these spots. And then we will get Wintari to jump over here. Let's see. Ailey is going to hop out of that spot. And I think she's going to leave her sister Hyrule to babysit. Although, it's res she, she should be the one babysitting, right? It's her baby. Okay, Sonage. Let's get you up this way. Okay, everyone is spreading out a little bit. Let's say goodbye to Blavel. Oh. Okay, Blavel is about to pass. I am happy though that his genes pass on because I had my eye on breeding him for a while there, but we couldn't. I, I couldn't because I was fo so focused on trying to get our fairy prince, which is you know important thing to be doing. But this baby is going to be important. Fingers crossed it is a boy because we have a tribe of nine with only two boys. Literally, the current king and the next king. <laughs> we have no in between. We need we need boys from somewhere, somehow. And uh, I'm hoping Pandira is going to give us that. Because um, these ladies, they don't have anyone else to breed with apart from the king right now. So who knows? Ailey might have to breed up with Maroshi again. Um, to see if maybe they can, she can produce another prince that might help us with our numbers. Okay, we are sweeping right. Okay, I'm gonna get Hyrune. Hyrune, let's jump you over here. 
And then Scura, you can help out in that corner as well. I think Pandera probably sees a, a nest she might want to settle on in the next day. Okay, Wintari, let's jump you in that corner. Sonnet is going to clear these grasses and then hop over here. And Ailey is going to dive next to this berry bush, supervise the fairy prince, and then she's also going to collect up some berries for us. But okay, let's turn the day. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. Okay, our king has two days left. He'll have one day, and so we'll be able to breed him with Ailey before he passes. Which we're gonna do, because, you know, we flippin' need... We need some, some girls at this... I mean, some boys at this point. Okay, excellent. He has made it back to his mate. And the fairy prince is over here. Um, let's get Ailey to actually dive this way. Get the fairy prince to wiggle there. And then she isn't going to grab any... Like, she's not going to breed with him just yet. She's going to breed tomorrow. So the king's not going to be able to see his youngest, but he saw several daughters get born. So I think that's good. Okay, Pandera's ready to settle onto a nest. Let's have a look. What is she going to have? What is she going to have? Okay, let's get Sonage to clear these spots. And then Hyroon, let's come here. And you cannot hunt, so let's not even try. Okay, Scora's going to explore down this way. Hopefully she doesn't get leached or anything. Let's clear that. We're going to clear this little cliff area as well. She got leached. Darn it. <laughs> she got leached. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's settle down next to Pandera, see what sort of baby she manages to have. I'm excited, but I hope it's a boy. I hope it's a boy. Oh, it's a girl. But it's a mermaid. Okay. She had a flippin' mermaid, guys. A mermaid that can collect seashells in the the ocean floor and can collect quite a bit. Okay, this is gonna be God, and this is gonna be God Skiadaya. Skiadaya, welcome to the family. Do we have two Ds? We have two Ds. Skiadaya, welcome to the family. I love that name, it's so cool. But look at the way she looks. Oh, she's awesome. Such a quirky mermaid. And she's a full mermaid, too. Okay, well, that was a bit of a surprise. And Scora has aged up. We're going to get Wintari to get that leech off her and help her out a, a little bit. Let's hope we don't have any blood-sucking leeches showing up out of nowhere. Oh, and we have a Verena, who's off to our fairy prince. Okay. Okay, guys. We have a few things that need to be done. Okay, because right now, the king's gonna die, and then we're only gonna have one male left. So we have to protect him with everything we've got. We also have, like, barely any gods. But that's not important. The important thing is, um, we need to protect the fairy prince. We also have to get Ailey pregnant, and then we have to protect Ailey. Um, because she could give us another little boy. Okay. Oh, they're both so important. Okay, the king in his final day is going to dive in front of his son to protect his son from this Verena. Even though, really, it's not his responsibility to be doing this. The gods should be protecting. But Wintari can't even get there in time. Harun is going to try her best, but... I don't know. What are they going to be able to get done? And I'm so worried about the fairy prince. I'm so worried. The king's going to die. The king's gonna die in the next day. Like, one hit from that Verena and he's gone. And I'm so terrified that the Verena is gonna go for our little fairy prince. Like, what's gonna happen to us if he just kills the father and goes for the fairy prince? Because our fairy prince is weak, he's little, he's young. Okay, I was not expecting a Verena to jump out in that direction. We also have to protect Ailey, though. Because she's pregnant and she could have another, like, another boy that's gonna help us out in the tribe. Okay, so at this stage... Um, some of these nichelings can barely move. Sonage is going to come here to try and distract and protect. Um, even though she is a princess, she's going to do her best. And then we are going to get Emma Samina. So this is the time when everyone is supposed to band together. They're going to try and 
Pandera can't really go because she has a baby to look after, but everyone else is going to try their darn best to be a bit of a barrier between that Verita and this prince. Like, everything is on the line at this point. If this baby dies, we are going to be kingless. So we do not want that to happen at all. Ailey, however, she is going to hoof it out of here. And the reason for that is because she is pregnant with the king's last baby. So that's also an important thing and she needs to be safe. So I am very nervous because I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling this Barina, as soon as the king dies, is going to go straight for our prince. And he's so young, he could be gobbled up in one go. But I have to turn the day. We have to see how this goes. Oh, Sonic! Sonic! Guys, we have to make Sonic a hero or something because if she was not there, that Barina would have gone for the fairy king? A baby fairy king. Would have gone for Scythian. But because she was there attacking, the Barina got distracted, allowing Scythian to kind of jump out of the way. And now these guys, Wintari, they're gonna surround this Barina and hopefully take it down. So let's attack. Let's attack this Barina. Yes! Okay, they managed to protect the fairy pri uh, fairy king. Jeez. He's a baby. But he's a fairy king. They managed to protect the fairy king. Which I'm so happy about. And where is... Okay, Ailey is gonna get the redstone in the middle. Um, because she's not gonna breed once she has this baby. So okay. Got a bunch of things happening. Oh my goodness, that was so crazy. As soon as she has that baby. Now we need to check to see if there's anyone amongst our current nichelings that Skikin can claim. So he is, he's got H and E. H and E. Wintari. But how old is Wintari? Um, Wintari has days. So I think what we're going to have to do, guys, because of how many females we have, I don't think we have to worry about him having a match. Let's check who he's compatible with. Let's just check. And then you know what? We could just give them the appropriate stone. Now, since he is the king, and then as soon as he comes of age, we'll know who to look for. And then if we have another male, he can always breed with the other females, but we'll leave the special ones for the king when he comes of age. So, Wintari, I'm going to give her the stone in the middle that she's chosen by the king. Claimed by him, even though he's a baby, which is so weird. But okay, uh, where is he? Where is he? Okay, H and E. H and E. Oh, there we go. H and E. H and E. H and E. H. Okay, so we currently have Hyrune and Skiadaya that we could breed to like another male. Every other female has been claimed by the king. So the king is compatible with Vintari and is compatible with all of his um, sisters. Which is kind of interesting, but hey, good for him. He's got a wide selection. So if Wintari like passes away or something, he'll have other females to breed with, which is super important for us. So that's great. Um, that means, so yeah, like pretty much everyone is the king's woman at this point. <laughs> but we do need to, let's see. Who was it? Hyrun? I think it was Hyrun and little... Baby Skiadaya, who can breed with the others. Okay, well, Ailey, we'll wiggle you up this way. She might have her baby, like, in the cliffs. And then Pandira, grab that, clear this. Oh, there we go. You managed to grab something down there as well. Emma Samina is going to clear this. And then we'll get Skura to come back and adventure the cliffs, which is where she was originally, but then she got called back when we had this crisis of ours. Okay, let's turn the day. Our fairy prince is a teen, which is awesome. Let's give him his kingstone, right over there. And then Godskid Dyer is going to get her guardstone, of course. 
and then our lovely god Ailey is going to be ready to settle down on a nest. But I think we can leave off and do all of that in the next episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.